Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing great. So with me here is the Nokia N90. This device was launched in the year 2005. So this is going to be a retro review of the N90. Now, as you can see, this is unlike anything that most of you are familiar with. This is the day where phone designs were crazy and unique and Nokia was at its peak. Now you can see something unique about this device that the Nokia and 90 basically has a very complex uh, swivel and also folding mechanism here so this is not just a standard clamshell device so i'm going to talk about that later now in the year 2005 there weren't many uh, manufacturers producing high-end devices and nokia uh, realized the potential of adding cameras and also emphasizing on the multimedia capability as a setting point of their devices. So this was the time where Nokia experimented a lot and collaborated with Carl Zeiss especially to produce high-end devices giving rise to the N series category and Nokia N90 was among the top devices back in the days. So Nokia N90 was launched alongside the Nokia N91 and also the N70 and means high end and this was one of the highest end offering in the Nokia portfolio in 2005. So what makes the device unique? One is its design itself and two is its display capability. Now the design is a robust folding and also swivel design which houses a 2 megapixel camera sensor on the top with flash. Now this 2 megapixel sensor camera uh, has Kalzai's optics as you can see here and it also supports autofocus. This is important because uh, I'll share you with some samples of the N81104G which also has a 2 megapixel sensor without autofocus and you can see a world of a difference that it makes to have one back in the days. So the unique thing about this sensor, 2 megapixel sensor, that it can swivel up to 180 degrees. Practically you can use a single sensor as both your front and a rear camera. So this allows you to take high quality selfie back in the days and thanks to the viewfinder here, the second display on the outer part, you can actually see what you're capturing in the selfie. So you get a good selfie back in the day in 2005 itself. So on the right hand side of the button you've got a standard charging pin. Uh, this is the port where you insert the USB, uh, sorry the cable. For data connectivities and also for transferring uh, data between your devices and your PC. Let me just get that back in. Okay, all right. Now you can see that the two megapixel sensor on the uh, on the side here also has an LED flash, which is quite good. Now you've got uh, two buttons here. One is a button on top here, which acts as the camera shutter. So this is behind some sort of like a two-stage shutter key, and this is the five-way toggle uh, button. On the bottom here, you've got the slot to insert the MMC card. So this is how the MMC card looks back in the day. It's pretty huge. And Nokia NID comes bundled with this 64 megabyte uh, MMC card. The display here uh, not only acts as a viewfinder for the camera, but also uh, it allows you to see notifications such as calls, texts. You can also see your calendar appointment. And passively, it also shows you the display. So you've got a beautiful... Uh, standby display showing you the date and time. Now once you open up the device you are greeted with the familiar S60 interface so there's nothing new to this. Uh, just a couple of things that I like to highlight is that this phone comes with real player bundled in, has a dedicated browser back in the days. It supports Bluetooth 1.2 but it does not have uh, Wi-Fi. So this phone supports 2.5G, 3G and also Bluetooth 1.2. Now I'm going to explore a bit more about the camera here, so let me show you how to activate the camera. So you just need to hold your phone like this. So this is the ideal position, especially if you want to record or take images, because uh, basically this gives you a more stable and uh, a better control over your device. So you get a better handle of whatever uh, scene or situation that you are in when you're capturing the images. So I'm just going to go through some options. So you can actually go through the options using the toggle key button here, coupled with the two buttons here to further choose or to go back. Now I'm just going to go to the image mode and show you a bit. So press the options, go to image setup. So you can see that you have options for scenes. So back in the days Nokia N90 comes with a few of the scenes preset. So you've got a scene, an auto scene by default, a close up mode, a night mode, sports mode, portrait, landscape and also a user defined if you have your own parameters to set to. Now similar to that, if you were to look at, uh, let's go back, 
back go to options go to video mode now this allows the video allows you to record in both mp4 or 3gp of course the 3gp is a lesser quality format so you can also have some finer control so you've got seen uh settings even in the video recording so you have a standard scene which is normal which works in all condition and one which is specific for night so a lot of emphasis in the camera back in the days and you've got a few other options to tinker with the white balance and color tone now this is one of the things that make nokia propel to their glorious days because nokia realized that the camera actually plays an important part on a mobile device so they paid a lot of uh, emphasis on the camera development they put a good camera module they collaborated with size and they equipped the camera with dedicated software which is not found in many devices back in the day so this is what makes the nokia n90 special and along with that you can you can see how complex the hinges work you can rotate the display and you can see if you were in the camera mode the external display will show the person uh, looking at it that the camera mode is activated so a lot of emphasis goes into the design to make a robust phone that would not only last long but also takes good quality videos and audios. Now, the device unfortunately does not come with any vibration. I'm not sure why um, that was omitted, but it does come with a good speaker on the top. So it's not a stereo speaker, but the quality is quite good. So I'm just going to share with you some samples of the songs through the speaker so the speaker as you can see is loud and clear and to be honest this was one of the great uh, multimedia device back in the days and this is where Nokia should be heading to. They should not be going, um, copying the trends of others, but chart their own path and probably find success again. So with that said, uh, I hope that this video has been somewhat uh, jogged through the your memory lane back in the days where Nokia was glorious. And uh, I do hope to see you in the next one. If you have any comments, if you've got any questions, do uh, hit me up in Twitter. Do follow up on my review, written review on the Nokia N90 um, in Nokia Power user site. And uh, if you got any questions, do just hit me up in Twitter. So till then, do take care. See you in the next one.